So looking at this video a tape of interviews, number one in that format, you might think we're going to see some Twin Peaks stuff or Dennis Hopper or Bruce Dern. You can see a couple music interviews on there, the Birds and Judy Collins, that's breaking with the protocol. More Twin Peaks. Rush Limbaugh, Ken Kesey, what strange red fellows, but hey, you got Peggy Lipton in there, so what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Harvey Picar and Toby Radloff and Emil Heifetz, the Eddie Marshall Show, November 1990. This one's about blowing that Jewish ram's horn. I'll get the name down in the description. I'm sorry, I'm only geographically Jewish growing up in Shaker Heights. I have been to more Jewish religious events in my life than my own born religion, so <laughs> call me what you will. Yo, this is the Fresh Prince of DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Hey, don't touch that dial. Keep it right here. Tune to the Eddie Marshall Show. Word up. <laughs> I'm not All right. about I gotta Never mind, Damon. And welcome. To Cleveland's Alternative Jewish Hour, it's a labor Welt, anything goes. And here is Emil Heifetz and Toby Radloff, and I am Harvey Picar, your host for the, this evening. And Emil, let me start off by asking you this question, which you told me to ask you. Did you hear the chauffeur on Yom Kippur? Uh, and give me a show for demonstration. Go on. Well, I, you're asking uh, something that's uh, almost point. impossible, but I'll tell you something. When uh, I was uh, about eight or nine years old, I was in the synagogue with my father, and it came to show for blowing time, which was Iron Kipper. So everybody fasted. Can you believe And they had a guys? special man who blow. He's a show for blower. Can you blow the show for or not? Wait a minute. If I just tell you outright, there won't be no build-up. Without a build-up, you have no apex. What? You have no drama. So let me tell it my way. All right, tell it your way. Hey, we got a Cadillac parked out back. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm sitting in the synagogue, and it comes to chauffeur blowing town, and this old man takes the chauffeur up and starts blowing it, and he it's gets a ram's horn. It's a ram's horn, but then right. call it a chauffeur. All right, all right. And uh, he gets hung up, and he couldn't blow it. But see, my father had about ten chauffeurs around the house, yeah. and I used them as playthings. I used to sleep yeah. with them. I loved them. them. Love and them. I could blow it, you know, just like a, a drop uh, rolls off a duck's back. I could blow the chauffeur. So they were hung up, and they couldn't go ahead with any ritual or ceremony yeah. in the synagogue. Yeah. So my father says, "My son Yechiel, he knows how to blow the chauffeur." Yechiel. Yechiel is my Hebrew name. All right, go ahead. It means uh, God live, anyways. All right. So I go up there and I take it, and uh, it goes like me, look, smooth as water. Yeah. And I blew the chauffeur for them. The old man was fasting; he didn't have the strength. Yeah. And I was only eight years old, but I had strength, and I knew, you know, I knew how the mechanics of blowing. <laughs> but you didn't hear the chauffeur. You want a demonstration? I, go ahead, do give me a demonstration. Oh boy! This is why we're here. But I'll tell you, you should blow the chauffeur. But before we'll before I blow the chauffeur, I want in all deference to the ceremony and the ritual and the sanctity of the uh, day. I want to uh, uh, I want to take umbrage out of that one. I'm going to blow it now. <clears throat> folks only in Cleveland on Eddie Marshall's show Can you, would you see something like that am I right or wrong Eddie Absolutely. all right is that great you could do that in five minutes all right Tom what did you think of that it was great Amo you're a little weird but you're great what do you mean weird um, it weirder sounds than you weirder than me yeah oh but you're weird too yeah I'm weird too sure but I'm genuine chauffeur blower I, I'm genuine nerd you're genuine weird I'm a genuine weird. Yeah, I'm the genuine nerd, you're the genuine weird. Wait a minute, now I gotta ask you a question, Amo. What do you think of Jackie Mason? What did I think of what Jackie you, Mason? Why do you bring him up? Because you told me it's on his paper. You're what not you supposed want? to give away, be so frank about things like that. I can't help it. Uh, there's one thing I got. Um, Jackie Mason is pretty good because he shoots out uh, his words uh, just like a, a threshing machine shoots out corn kernels and uh, his words all have wings 
and they aim them right at the audience, and it comes back. They're like, uh, they have wings and they have memories, and they come right back to him, and they make sense. So that part, I like him, but if I said things like he said, and said it was so fast, that when it came back to me, it wouldn't make sense, all of it would come back as a, a bull, uh, as, as bull crap or uh, bison uh, chips. So I can't talk like that, but I'll tell you what I do like about bison it. Bison chips? Yeah. Bison chips. Horse bison. pucky. So uh, I can't, uh, I can't uh, talk as fast. He gets into orbit and he can't get in. But there's one other thing about him. He mixes up chicken soup he with mixes sex. Up. He mixes up That's chicken soup wrote. with sex. How does he do and that? And he confuses people. Because what do you mean? He takes chicken he soup to bed with a woman or That's what? That's right. He, he says that uh, if uh, you have chicken soup, it, make, it mixes them up. It's the same take, thing. He equates them together. So when you're eating uh, chicken soup, you think of sex. So you drop the chicken soup, and you go to sex. And then when you have sex, you're thinking of chicken soup, and you drop sex. So you're running back and so forth all the time. That's right. So Emil, Dwayne, Dwayne, Sarah, Mrs. Campbell. You're talking about chicken soup and sex. Dwayne, Sarah, Mrs. Campbell. That means yeah. good evening, right? Good evening. In Spanish? Yeah. Anyways, Something like so he's got yeah. people That's confused. Oh, I don't, where'd you get that from? It's a title of a movie that came up. out oh, years yeah. and years ago. Who was in that? I don't remember who was in that movie, but it was like an Italian sex comedy. Oh, yeah? Did you see it? I haven't seen it, but I, I don't think I've ever seen it, but I've heard, I've seen it advertised once. So oh. you get confused. They go from, yeah. uh, they go from, they drop sex and they go to slurping chicken soup. Now that's what I don't like about him. He's confusing, the, especially Jewish people, he confuses about that. He's a confusing okay. guy. Yeah, he confuses. Hello. I am Emo. And whenever I am conscious, I always watch the Eddie Marshall. Show. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Thanks for making the channel grow so much.